Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Garrick XP's War in the East. We're playing the Vistra to Berlin campaign, and um, we're here in turn four for the Axis. I haven't played this for a while, so I'm just kind of <laughs> checking things out here for a little bit. So, what we have here is. Iron Group North is stuck in a Cortland pocket. I am quite certain that I've already moved everything I can up here. And given the various units, yeah, this one hex is a problem, but I, I can't really do a whole lot about it right now. I could technically push those back. We take the hex. Um, but I don't even think that's that great of an idea. Down here we have um, the units of Königsberg. I can technically still get them out. Königsberg is worth 15 points. I would then be giving up these two though. At this point, um, so the two parts of the 561st Folks Grenadier Division. Another thing I could do for now is try to keep it open here and then next turn try to get out. So get these units to move. Hmm. To be honest, I don't even see them holding out now. be giving up 4,000 men or 3,500. I think ultimately Maybe it's better to just get them out now. And... What I'll do... Is I'll move... Goes there. And I think these guys might be able to hold a turn. Mm. 
And then I have to hope they don't attack this. For now, yet. And do it that way. All right, that's that. Next, here. Two in reserve. These lines are not great, but they might hold a little bit. Uh, this point these are also very close I actually think I'll probably already have to move further back Like this. And this is light wood too, which sucks. Because they can technically move all the way up till here. I don't think they'll do that. Oh, you're gone. Another problem. One, two, three, four, five. Let's move the HQ in here because I need to have those two units here and Yeah, they can move straight through here, which is a problem. Unless I do that. They can't even move back. Um, supposedly uh, Bresla held out, but there's no way I'm going to be able to do that in this game. Um, now that we're at the end phase, it will be very difficult to reenact the way things went historically. Indeed. 
There are a few units like these which are not yet under a command. So at least for those units um, that will battle, I do want to take care of that. Like here too, this unit. Um, 24th. Okay. I think what I'll do for the moment is I'll just let the game run its Soviet course uh, for a bit and then we'll just see how that stuff goes one thing already already ready yeah if it's if, if it's already that that's fine Okay, and like I said, let's have it run its course for now. Uh, no, I do need to take a look at the supplies. Literally everything at the front can be level four here. Doesn't matter, I just want to pump everything. Yeah, let's go. Let's see what kind of disaster I plunged myself into. Back into the fray. <laughs> into the unwinnable game. Pretty much. And there's no chance. No chance on this one. I am very curious to see whether they'll take the Vistuli already this turn or whether they're going to hold for one turn and I can retreat. It's, um... Yeah, we're, we're going to have to see. Desperately just trying to get to the mud turns which might give me a moment's reprieve. did forget how long this this kind of stuff usually takes though it's very long <laughs> i guess it takes less time for us now since we the the less territory we have the less calculations there have to be made whereas there are a lot for the soviets now all right let's go soviets Time to break some balls here. Huh. Moscow. 
Haven't been there for a long time. Soviets have so many planes they can easily afford to also just bomb us during blizzards and stuff like that. Although already here there is no blizzard. <laughs> Dang it. Just frost. Gonna have to take a look into that. General movement capabilities are three hexes, so um, through enemy territory that is. Through your own territory it's a lot more obviously, so. Uh, this is a, this is a pause now? No, it's somewhere up there. Oh, it's here. Beat Gosh held the first attack. Half of the men dead. Oh. No surprise. I wonder if they'll encircle entire Poznan. Apparently, they I did have empty hexes here for quite a bit, so it's going to be curious to see how much there's going to be there. They, um, they're attacking close to Bratislava and Vienna up here. But I think these guys have it for the turn. Uh, not these guys, obviously. They're gonna rout. Ninety nine tanks, huh? Okay. I've been trying to get these guys out, which technically seems to be still possible with me holding on to that rail. Um, I almost have them out, but these guys are coming. That's a pretty good route, as in I didn't lose that many forces in that route. So that's, uh, that's decent. I'm a bit surprised I did give up Nitrad that easily, but uh, it's been such a long time ago I can't even remember specifically. Whatever joke I'm pulling down there, I'm definitely pulling back now. Hmm. Dang, they, they also lost a lot of planes. They'll probably get through here as well. They can keep moving. I don't have that many troops either way. I mean, I still have quite a few forces in here, so... There's still a chance I might get them out. I could even 
pull back through the Russian lines, which I don't think are that big here. That's a problem. Like, I also think it shows up here because you have literally no chance of, of holding this entire pocket. Like, I, I don't see you as a German player holding this because the odds are just too much against you. Um... There's no way you're going to be able to do as well as the Germans did historically. Uh, the uh, the Russian combat values are just too high, basically. Like, which is, I personally feel also why you have to evacuate. But uh, we're doing the best we can. At the very least, there is no um, point score for losses in this uh, War in the East 2. There was a War in the East 1, so you were incentivized to keep your forces alive. But in this game, you can throw them in front of the Russian steamroller if it gives you half a turn and you'd technically be the better of it. Yeah, like, like I said, there's just nothing you can do. They, they just have too many numbers. Yeah, you can only try to make the best of it. Okay, I, I think they're done for this turn here, though. As in, I don't think they can take another spot, but that might surprise me. They did, okay. And big time, too. <laughs> Never mind. forget I said anything. That was it for their attacks. Most of them, uh, I would say at least, if not all of them. Sometimes they have the tendency to still attack a little bit, but yeah, that's very, very rare. I cannot imagine this to become their front line. One thing that I find interesting is that I didn't see anything near Königsberg either. Which was rather odd. All right. Um, this is going to take so long that 
if there's going to be new attacks, I'm going to show them to you. And otherwise, I'll just meet you back at the German turn because this is going to probably take like 10 minutes or so. So I'll meet you on the other side. All right, we're back. And um, here we are, crossing the Rhine. After pushing the Germans back to their Ardennes offensive start lines, Allied armies begin the final offensive to breach the Rhine and overrun West Germany. Western Europe ground combat intensity, intensity is at a very high. Raids, raids, and the campaign for Northwestern Europe is delayed. Excess Axis ground forces in Western Europe leads to a success in Western Europe. The European campaign events are moved back. Yeah, that's good news. <laughs> okay, some good news. Um, I was still hoping that the Americans and the English, well, all the allies, I suppose, are going to take Berlin, but... Uh... Alright, um... First of all, I, I do need Jagdschwader 1 to move out. Um... The problem is, is that after all this time, I kind of somewhat forgot how to do this. Oh, there we go. Let's get them over there. Deviate your transfer. Bye. Uh, they definitely need to get out. Um, and then I have the Hungarian Air Command. which needs to also transfer back they uh they don't have that much uh, we have these recon groups but They'll be fine. Um, I, I do really don't need to do anything for the air here. Well, I might uh, send some. I will see. <laughs> okay. Let's check the reports. Balkans. We're having enough. Air is even too much. But I cannot send anything out, nor would I want to, I suppose, maybe in terms of air. No, I can get some out. Western Europe air is too little and ground is also too little now. Might have been lucky before getting uh, that ground campaign setback, but uh... also not to be rude, but. I mean, losing the Balkans is less important than losing Western Europe. Italy, we're actually doing fine in air, but I can't send anything. They still have 100% on the ground. There are a few things that I can move. And probably I should do so. 
Um, I would say to the map because I need to stop the Soviets. I'll try to keep ground to a 90% in Italy. Um, if they're gonna take Northern Italy, fine. Um, that will suck, but if I can delay the Soviets a bit longer, then that will pay off. That means that I'll take 18 out of this, so it will get close to 162. Um, that would mean that I can transfer f first Valsheerm to the map. 96. I'll take the fourth Valsheerm as well. Intensity is medium. I'm gonna take the uh, this gun battalion. And the 508th Heavy Panzer. <clears throat> they, of course, only support units. Um, how are we doing? 93. This is the whole Sea Pass Division. This is the entire... Entire unit. Um... But that's the only or one of the few things that I can take. AA is going to Western Europe. And No theater box defense values. Okay. So uh, I can't actually take anything anymore. Except for this, I suppose. Um, right, that, that's fair. When in reserve. I do not have anything that I can move anywhere. The only thing that I have is the Schlesian Panzer Division. I'm going to transfer that to Western Europe. Just like the Jeterbog Panzer Division. Siege mortar is damaged. <laughs> Dang it. All right, so Norway. Uh, let's see, because in terms of air, I can actually move some, and I will. These are trained as bombers. Yep. I have air day 155. It's like a lot. 114 now. How many planes? 45. Basically as it is, I'm looking for a, a, a relatively small unit. Like these 15, they're night fighters. Um, how am I on night? good enough just air day is too low i mean i'd rather they're already saying it's too problematic no theater box defense values but
I mean, to be fair, I'm, I'm sending everything I can. Tactical bombers. Why would I need those in Norway? Just throw everything I got at them. They might even be naval, it doesn't matter. Except these night fighters. I'll keep those and uh, transports. Fine. That's everything out there. It seems like they didn't attack, which is interesting. They can, I guess, get up there, but then they can't move further. They actually stayed away from that, interestingly enough. Um, okay. One thing that I will do is try to beat these. Okay, there we are. And I'll, I'll move back to the starting position, so... You are in a tough luck here. March. No. Why are you even there? Oh boy. gonna do here is try to I mean these these two are gonna route basically you are unready I should probably put you there and then keep this Panzer Brigade here. So back to the lines. They did a, a spoiling attack. It went well enough, but back to your own lines it is. Okay, yeah, I, I, I can definitely get out here. That, that's not, not an issue. Um, what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to end the video here. I want to thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribe. And uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, take care. See you next time and bye-bye.